Hello there, YouTubers and true believers out there. This is your friendly neighborhood, Bobby, coming to you with another update. Ah, okay. All right. Jason Blaha made a video about as to why um, tribesmen, you know, cultures, you know, uh, tribes that have not been impacted directly by modern culture, you know, with technology and certain things. Modern man. Oh, God damn it, is this guy stupid? <laughs> you can tell this guy never went to college. I mean, anybody that went to fucking college and took an anthropology class would be like, what the fuck is he talking about? Jesus Christ. So I'm gonna rebuttal and give a little bit of viewpoints on my point of view. And I'm gonna put on my Goku hat on and let's get this video started, shall we? Yuck. All right. <laughs> Jason, God damn it, read a book. Seriously, sit down and read a goddamn book. You need to like, do some of this reading, you know, like you seriously need to do that. Um, okay, he said something about our ancestors. Our ancestors were, you know, I think he said something along the lines of that they had, those that had a higher metabolic rate died out quicker than those that didn't. As in guys that weren't as muscular as the other. That's not true. Actually, what killed the bigger, stronger man or woman in those type of environments, I'm going to get back to that one, environment, but the reason being is because of this, agriculture. Agriculture happened. We learn how to grow our own food. The Cro-Magnons. 30,000 years ago, the Cro-Magnons were six feet tall and had incredible physical attributes. They were very broad, very powerful, and they survived for a long, long time. And actually, their brain was just as big as ours, if not bigger. So you can't argue that they weren't intelligent. Their diet was based on meat. That's why they were so powerful and strong. Um, <laughs> this is just a really cool thing. Um, in Greece, the boats that they row, like this, you know, you see them in movies all the time, you know, they could outbeat any Olympic row boater, whatever, any day of the week. Because actually, when they do studies on these, um, on these specimens from back then, they actually had more dense bones and... and uh, based on their physical attributes, some of them were actually born to row boats. Their bodies were were made to row boats. It's fucking phenomenal. That's the, that's the power of evolution right there, right in front of you. And holy shit, environment. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Jason, you're fucking retarded. Every fucking time you have to say something stupid. Alright. Environment. What's around you? Every... <laughs> human beings from around the world are going to be built differently. Not everyone's going to be the same. Because of environment. Why the fuck would we have to go out on a five mile run to go hunt down a hundred pound deer when we can just go to the Walmart? Because it's based on environment. We are surrounded by food, by plenty of water in a first world country. So of course we're gonna have more nutrients. Of course we're gonna have more water and we're gonna be exposed to different things like exercise and whatever. And actually, Jason, for the love of fucking God, belly fat is not a good fucking thing. 
Jesus fucking Christ. Ugh. How many fucking studies have been done on fucking belly fat exposing that it actually is a bad fucking thing? How many times? Are you <laughs> okay. Let's just get to the fucking core of this, shall we? Let's get to the core. Let's get to the core of this. Jason. Your videos have a core meaning to all of them, a subliminal message that your followers seem to not get yet. But I got you. I saw it. You don't like pretty people. You really, really, really don't. You don't like pretty people. You don't. Know, you don't like how there's people out there with six pack abs, nice to find arms, chiseled chins, full head of hair. That sounds a lot like Michael Hearn. How about that? Or other guys that you love to attack. You just hate the fact that you're not pretty. That's the truth of it all. That's why you attack this shit. Deep down inside, you want to be pretty. You want to be good looking. You want to be on the top tier of human evolution. But you're not. And a lot of that evidence can be shown from your past forum <laughs> chats that you've had about bragging of being a um, what is it, a top specimen for breeding for a reptilian race or whatever? Oh my god, like, what the fuck? No, guys, followers, followers, followers of Jason Blaha, please, please, do me the favor. Look this shit up. Please, look this shit up. <sighs> this, is a, this is a message to the followers right here, guys. Guys, I don't give a shit if you don't follow me. I don't care, but don't follow him. He's a disease. He's giving you bullshit every single day. He's not realistic. He's negative. There's a difference. There's a difference between being realistic and being negative. And he's negative all the fucking time. Guys, just see the truth behind him. He's a failure. And he wants others to join him down that path. That's the truth. He hates pretty people. He targets pretty people. He hates it. He hates how he's so average. He hates it. And he does. Look at him. He's not a good looking guy. He's fat. His arms aren't really that good. He has weird speech impediments, you know, like when he says reality, he says reality, like it's weird, I don't know, he has weird speech impediment, his mouth does his thing, he's just not a genetically good looking dude, face it, I'm not trying to attack the looks because I think, I, I mean, I may be vain, but I can see through people. And I know when they're attacking people for a certain reason. They got an agenda. And Jason Blaha's agenda is to attack pretty people. That's what it is. Why do you think he bashes about people with six-pack abs and 17-inch arms? Why? Because he's not that. He's not that. And he never will be. Did you see his photos when he took four years of juice? He looked awful. Like, holy shit. He looked fucking awful. <laughs> Four years of juice and that's what you look like? Oh, Jesus, dude. Oh, you know, God just doesn't bless certain people with looks. I'm sorry. You know, I'm no Hugh Jackman. I'm no Brad Pitt. You know? He's just got to deal with the cards they're dealt with. And Jason can't stand his cards. So he's trying to make everyone have his matching set. He's trying to convince people that it's better to have 
you know, a pair of twos than it is to have a full house. That's his agenda. So I say to you guys, please, guys, this guy's full of shit. He's just trying to drag it down. Please, just, I'm telling you as a friend, okay? I'm not trying to, I don't necessarily attack people. But Jason, fuck. I mean, fuck. So come on. Come on, guys. Be real with me here. One-on-one. -on -one. Do you want to look up to somebody like Jason Blaha, who sits on his ass and makes bullets? Or do you want to look up to somebody that's out there doing something? That part is up to you. So anyway, this is your friendly neighborhood Bobby, peacing out. Please have a good one, and don't look up to losers.